Okay guys, let's get started. I am going to use some beauty oil first. This is by Bosha, Bosha. I'm just using a few drops. Do you ever have those times like when your face is kind of like, ha <laughs> nope, never mind, not gonna be the same as I always am. That's what I'm dealing with now. And I have all these dry patches. <laughs> and so um, one of my favorite YouTubers, Makeup by Allie, I, talk, I talked about her in, I don't know if it was my last video or the one before, but anyways, she swears by this beauty oil that she uses before her foundation. And she and I have similar skin tones and skin type. And so I thought I would give it a shot and I'm liking it pretty well. Uh, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Oil Free Photo Edition Foundation. Longest name ever. I went to a Sephora this past week and um, I was able to get another shade of this foundation and I really, really like it. And um, so I just wanted to use it again today. I'm in like a huge hurry. I'm hoping that <laughs> I finish my makeup in time. Um, I am about two hours or an hour and a half away from um, putting on a Stella and Dot trunk show. So a lot of you have heard, oh my gosh y'all, I skipped primer. We're gonna see how well this uh, beauty oil <laughs> works as a primer today. Um, follow me on Twitter. And I'll let you know if it worked or not. But anyway, um, so I am a Stella and Dot stylist now. And so I have a trunk show today. And I thought, okay, today is literally the only day I even have an hour this week to film. And be it only an hour, I'm going to try my best to make it work. Because as you may know, I didn't get a video up last week um, because I literally didn't even have an hour to sit down and get in front of the camera. And so I was like, nope, I'm not going to do that again. I made a promise to myself and to you all. And so I'm going to make sure that I film, even if it's just a get ready with me video, which I know are kind of like whatever. I thought it was better than nothing, right? <laughs> this is literally how I'm going to wear my makeup today. Nothing fancy. Um, and I'll put all of the products that I use in case I forget to list one in the description bar below, but I thought it would be oh, a lot easier if I just talked through this one. So with this look today, I've actually been, been wearing this look a lot lately because it's so easy for me and it's like so pretty and goes with a lot of outfits and looks and that kind of thing. And I'm literally freaking out because y'all know how much I like live by my pore minimizing primer and I'm like kicking myself for forgetting. And I feel like I look, I feel like I look like the moon on my face. Like you can see all the little craters. So I'm like, Gonna extra conceal to blend those babies in. I am just doing a look that I would typically do like on any old day. So this is not anything crazy or over the top. This is pretty quick. This is like something I would wear to work. I mean, hello, I'm going to work after this. I mean, my new work. So last week was a crazy week in my life. My routine with filming, if you will. My kids go to a Mother's Day Out program on Mondays and Wednesdays. So I try to film on Mondays and, you know, get them up by Wednesday or Thursday of that week after I edit it all and upload it and all that. And since last Monday was Martin Luther King Day, they didn't have school, which is fine. So we just got to hang out and it was a good day. Um, but when they're here, I can't film because they're teeny tiny little humans and they, <laughs> they find their way in here and, and all that. So, um, so I wasn't able to film on Monday. So 
They did go to school on Wednesday, but my husband and I had to go out of town on Wednesday um, for a doctor's appointment in another city, and that took all day, and so, you know, that was out of the question, and then they were with me all the rest of the week, and so, which, I mean, is okay, I mean, that's why I had kids, but it makes it kind of hard to get in front of the camera, and so, um, that's why I was absent last week. Those of you out who out there who have this NARS Eda brush, like I really think it's probably the best contour brush that I own, but I don't know if it's just mine, and I've talked about this before, but oh my gosh, it sheds like crazy. So I have to like do my whole face contour and then go back and pick off all the little black spots. But that's okay. I mean, it doesn't really bother me when I'm doing my own. I usually don't use it on camera, but again, this is more of like a, hey, this is literally what I'm doing to get ready today to do what I gotta do. So I used the tools that I would normally use. Let's brush off all of those little black hairs. So I said we went to a different city and we went to um, South Lake in Texas and um because that's i live in texas and not too far from the doctor that we were at was a sephora and those of you who live in my town or have watched my channel or read my blog know that there is not a sephora in my city and i am a, a vib rouge member and so i typically well, I order almost everything online. Most of the stuff I get from Sephora is an online purchase. Um, so it's, you know, usually like a shot in the dark when it comes to foundation. But um, if there is a Sephora near me, if I'm ever out of town, like I always, always, always make it a point to go because um, I always have like a running list in my mind or whatever of things that like I want to get if I ever get to go in person, you know? Usually it's shades of foundations, um, like extra shades for my kit and uh, skincare products and things like that. Cause I like, to, I like to feel skincare products before I purchase them. So I ran into the Sephora there. My husband took me cause he knows that that's like just something that we always kind of do. And so I ran into Sephora and I do this every time I go to Sephora. Like I go in there with, and I ask my friends, you know, before I go, I'm like, Hey, I'm running to Sephora. Um, or I'm going to be in wherever I'm going to be this weekend. And I'm going to go to Sephora. What do you want? Or do you need anything? And they'll usually give me their orders, my mom and my sister and my best friend. And so like <laughs> I go in there with their orders and I always get theirs first. And then I, you know, quickly run around the store. And I usually always try to go fast because my husband's with me and I know it's got to be like the most painful experience ever for him. And so I run around the store and grab things that I've had my eye on for a while, you know, and like check off my list. It's always running in the back of my head. Well, like <laughs> every single time I will get in the car and we'll be like three miles down the road and I'm like, dang it, I forgot the number one thing on my list. Every time. And that is totally what happened this past week. I had full intentions to pick up another, to like I have one of the new um, Makeup Forever HD concealers, but I was wanting to pick up a couple different shades so that I could mix, because I'm like one of those cocktailing girls who likes to mix things. And like that's been on my list for a really long time. And I just totally spaced and forgot, but luckily, I think there are only like maybe seven or so shades. So those should be, that should be something I could purchase online, but I'm just like, of course. I feel like I'm only looking in the mirror and that's because like I am, because I'm getting ready, but like I know you're there, okay? So I'm looking up here in spirit, but if we're gonna be honest, if I'm gonna do my makeup okay for this event, I'm gonna look down here. <laughs> Okay, so I have talked about this palette, the new Tartlet 
In Bloom palette by Tarte. Oh my gosh, I got this one for Christmas and it is so dang pretty. And I have used it so many times. And um, I ended up convincing my sister to get it as well. And she loves it. I'm obsessed with the Tarte B, uh, what is it? Just the regular Tarte lip palette, the one that's all mattes. I talked about it in my beauty, best of beauty from 2015. Like that's a gorgeous palette and I love it because it's great for all ages. But this palette is even more beautiful, but it is not as versatile on the age scale because there are one, two, three, three um, like frost, frosty shades. And usually mature skin, I can't believe it. I'm just like, Totally not even looking at my eye. Um, so here's to hoping I know what I'm doing. It, usually mature skin like stays away from frosty, glittery, shimmery shades. And so I don't know if everyone would like it, but I am obsessed with it. It's probably my new favorite. Because if I'm going to wear a shimmer or like a frosted shade, you know, I'm like I'm going to do that while I'm still kind of young this is seriously like the easiest makeup look ever like i just <sighs> blend out my crease and then throw a shimmery shade on my lid and call it good i'm usually one of those people that's like you need to use three shades for every eye look but you know sometimes girl you just don't have time and on a day like today it is not my number one priority to have the perfectly smoked eye. I'm just trying to live and get through. Bada bing, bada boom. That's it. That's all. I really feel like y'all are probably like, really, this is what we're watching today, but hey, if you wanted to get ready with me, you can say you did, because this is real life. Usually I have music playing, and I feel real awkward not having it playing, but I didn't know how distracting that would be. Because usually, in the Get Ready With Me videos that I've done in the past, I don't talk through them, but I thought this way, if I talk through, I'll be able to get it up on YouTube faster, because I won't have to do as much editing. It's for you guys. Try to do quick for you. You know, you could always like turn on something, put me on mute, and just watch. <laughs> All right, that's done. I'm gonna use my tried and true Steel Up Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner Pin. It should be called a pin, it's not, but it should. And I don't know if this is now in your way. But I'm just going to put a teeny tiny little line. So I have this clock over here on my wall and I don't even know why I have it because it doesn't tell time. Like it, that's not the right time, but you know. And why I haven't just replaced it with something else is because I have, you know, 18 million other things on my to-do list to accomplish first. But anyway, it's still on my wall and still has a battery. So it ticks, but it doesn't keep time. And so <laughs> when I was just putting on my eyeliner, which I fast forwarded through, like all I hear in the background is tick, duck, tick, duck. And I'm like, oh, it's cool. It's probably how you feel about your life right now. Okay, y'all. <laughs> All right, you see me looking out my window. So I sit in front of this huge window that I have in my house, okay? Because, you know, this is real life and um, I don't have, you know, fancy equipment lighting or anything like that right just yet. And so <laughs> it's funny because I live in, in like on a really hardcore neighborhood street. Like you're not gonna pass on my street unless like you live here or you're going to someone's house. You know, it's not like a through street to get anywhere. And so every time I film, you know, I have my blinds like totally open. And 
it's so funny because a lot of people like exercise and run and walk or whatever they're going to do or uh, like on my street. And so I feel like they walk by and they just stare in my window and they're like, is that girl? Oh my gosh, that girl's totally filming herself getting ready. <laughs> or, oh my gosh, that girl's totally talking to herself. And there are people walking by and I keep wanting to be like, hey, how's it going? Yeah, don't mind me. Just filming myself, putting on mascara. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure they think I'm like the crazy girl. They're like, hey, have you seen the girl over there in the red brick house? Yeah. That girl's weird. You go by there on Monday morning, she stares out the window and puts on her makeup so that we can all see. <laughs> oh, man. I feel like you're getting a real good taste in my roots right now. I'm just going to use Becca's opal today because it'll go with everything. I can't believe I just did this so quickly. I still feel like my pores are just shining out. Note to self. Never, ever, ever forget primer. <laughs> we all have those days, right? Tell me I'm not the only one. Okay, I'm going to use my Urban Decay blush in fetish. Love this blush. Oh, hey. <laughs> Maybe I'll make friends with the dog walkers. The 9 a.m. Monday morning dog walkers. <laughs> and we'll just wave to each other every morning. Oh, hey there. Looking good. You know it's true love for a lipstick when you leave it in your purse and you have to go find your purse, find it in your purse, so that you can come back to your own camera and put it on because you forgot to get it out the first time. I'm using from Tarte the new Tardis Lip Paints. I don't know if you've heard of them, but they're really cool. Um, they're a matte lip paint, kind of like a stain. And this is shade Namaste. Namaste. Um, it's like trending, I think. I don't know. I've seen a lot of YouTubers dote all on it on Instagram. It's a total nude shade. And uh, the applicator's perfect. I like these. I'm going to be honest with you. It actually reminds me a lot of those NYX ones, too. However, I don't know if NYX... I'm looking at my lipstick stuff over here, but... I don't know if NYX has a color like this. Regardless, this is what it looks like. I am going to add a little bit of gloss because my lips are really dry because it's cold here. This is by Smashbox. It is... One of their Be Legendary Lip Glosses in Coquette. Coquette. That's like a baby doll pink. And I think we are done. I always like rebrush over everything one last time just so that like all our lines are smooth. Are we done? Did I do that? <gasps> what time is it? <gasps> I still have 20 minutes. This is like totally a mom's dream. You get 20 minutes of silence like no one's here. I don't have, I don't have to like get somebody juiced, like nothing. I have 20 minutes. What do you do with your 20 minutes? Do you sleep? Do you clean? Do you finish your baby book? <laughs> Correction. Do you start your baby book? Though your baby is now a toddler. Me. No. Okay, that is everything. Thanks for getting ready with me. If you care to know about my outfit, 
Um, I'm wearing this navy with white polka dot vest by Peach Love California from a local boutique. Um, this plaid flannel that has like pinks and reds and navies, um, also from a local boutique. And this awesome Sutton necklace from Stella and Dot. This is my favorite statement piece from Stella and Dot. Um, it is called the Sutton and it's the mixed metals version. So there's golds and silvers. And so you get to kind of like wear it with whatever you're wearing that day. I love it so much and I've sold so many of them because of its versatility. So if you are interested, check out the link below and I'll get you hooked up with a Sutton for yourself because it literally goes with whatever you're wearing. <laughs> so that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry it was a little crazy, but sometimes that's how life is. I'll see you soon. Bye.